We're uh, taking it uh, it's a little slower. We're, we're going to have a little break this time. We're uh, just the two of us, right? Just the two of us. Just the <laughs> two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the <laughs> two of us. But yeah, this is uh, the seventh episode of the Remnant Podcast. If we were doing this on a daily basis, that would have made a week of nothing but podcasts. Yeah, it's um, true, actually. So, hey, a week of, a week of podcast kind of... Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Um, uh, and uh, we, uh, we we got some, we started getting guests on. We got three guests already. Did we? Hold up. It's a uh, Cecil. Barry. Yes, we got, yeah, it's we got three guests. Yeah, we did. I was thinking, I was like, do we have a fourth one? I was trying to think. I was like, no, I think it's three. Okay. Hey, but that's what's up. Um, I'm definitely liking that. The I, I'm definitely, I guess, enjoying that. You know, at least we're... The channel is doing really well, in my opinion, at least. So, I'm glad this doesn't like we did it and then like it it just failed immediately. So, yeah, uh, I, I think if we stay consistent with it, it's just gonna kind of grow itself. Yeah, it might so, not be uh, extremely fast, but yeah, but it, it'll be a slow growth for sure. So, but at least it's doing really well, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, but we uh, decided to just. Uh, not have any guests on just uh have a nice mm-hmm. little uh break stream uh, a little, break a little chill podcast. a little chill a little chill podcast so but yeah, but yeah. uh i i do want to talk about like the the progress and what we've learned from um this podcast because uh it uh it's really like um i don't know i guess we've like uh learned some already uh from this podcast uh, as we uh uh, just like uh did more and more episodes and mm-hmm. uh i i i find it interesting like um because it's a different medium right it's like live oh, yeah. streaming where uh, uh everything you say is is all in live time right you can't go back and edit what you say mm-hmm. so uh like for instance like uh, things you, you you can say stuff like off the top of your head and then like it can like be misinterpreted i suppose so, yeah, especially on live stream. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting uh, dilemma with mm-hmm. uh, uh, real time content. Yeah, uh, I I like podcasts. They, they kind of, they're just kind of they kind of show the true genuine side of you because again you're not really you're not cutting a lot out from podcasts. You're kind of keeping most of it in there. In there, you're just mostly cutting like small like dead space or little mess ups or stuff like that. But I do like a lot of yes. podcasts because they show kind of like a like a genuine person or genuine um feelings towards certain things so i think it's yeah. always cool is i'm being 100 percent real right now oh yeah yeah I, I i'm 100 so real. real i'm i am the realest person you'll ever meet <laughs> um Only real men in this house <laughs> but besides this podcast um i don't watch too many podcasts so like that's why i don't get too upset when like uh people say like oh i didn't get to catch a podcast i'm like oh that's okay i mean i don't even watch a lot of podcasts to begin with but um yeah. ever since starting this podcast i've been kind of i've been kind of p- paying more attention to more other podcasts and watching more because i feel like it's kind of unfair to create something and then not watch the content you're creating so <laughs> mm. yeah um, i mean i i don't blame people for like uh, not coming to every podcast and uh, not even like the majority of them and uh it, i i probably if i'm watching a podcast i just put in like a 1.5 speed or something because it's just the time you need to like figure out how to say something in real time isn't exactly um the optimal amount of time that people want to listen mm-hmm. you know that speed uh, between oh, yeah. like making conversation and then listening to that conversation it's different yeah i get you um uh, i definitely can't say i agree i know um I don't know. I'm fine with like just slow like uh, talking because I I don't know. I'm, I'm a person who's kind of really really patient on certain content. So um, mm. I mean, someone could literally be rambling on about something. And I'll I'll still listen. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the end, I'm like, okay. So I'm I'm okay with like slow conversations or dialogue being kind of dragged out. It's it's okay with me sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing I suppose is uh, the timestamps. I think that was a very smart idea. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I I'm def that's definitely a good a good key factor we have on our channel because, um, I think I think if like we wanted to go back to a certain point, but like oh I I like this one conversation conversation we had, 
And it, I imagine if we did put the timestamps, to be it, we'd be miserable because we'd be like, bro, we had to look through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, uh, if you look at the retention rate, it's actually like considerably higher because people are jumping through the yeah. chapters. Like for some for some cases, like it would the retention could actually drop because people just skip chapters. But for a podcast, like. Uh, unless if there's chapters, most people will just listen to the first five minutes and get bored and leave. Yeah, but with but at least with these timestamps, they can jump. They can like look ahead and be like, "All right, what what, what do they talk about?" And like, "Oh, they talk about this. Let's jump to that." Yeah. So definitely. I do love that a lot. So I, I still like that in normal videos. Like I I I know I abuse the the chapters all the time where I jump back and forth and I inconsistently just watch a video that way sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Out of out of the timeline. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's one of the few features that YouTube got right, having mm-hmm. incorporating timestamps into the um, the bar, the progress bar of the video. But with chapters, we lost our dislikes. That's yes, a soul a tra- for a soul, a trade for a trade. Exactly, bro. Um, uh, oh, what is it? I was gonna say this wasn't technically my first podcast I've worked on. I know I've worked on another one. Um, it was a uh, it was a guy. Uh, we, we, I don't talk to him no more because he was a dick and he, but he, back then, he still makes podcasts, he still, he still has a podcast and he's still making videos. His name was Raps Podcast and, um, I could dude, be wrong, um, but did he play, uh, the Thanos character in one of your videos? No, 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 way different okay. dude, way different dude. Raps Podcast, he's this guy, uh, <laughs> he's still on YouTube, you just look up Raps, but, uh, I, I used to let him borrow my camera and I would teach, I would tell him how to use it and stuff like that. And be like, yep, this is how I use it, my camera, blah, blah, blah. Just lend, basically lending my camera and just offering ideas how to work on stuff like that. And I know it was gonna, I, would, I know I had an episode planned for him, but dude, oh my God, we got into like some crazy argument with him. Me and my friends, like, um, we argued, we argued with him over some COVID stuff, like, because he, he I think he got COVID, um, I, he got COVID one time and then our friends came over. He didn't tell us he had COVID. He said he was sick. And I guess my friends hung out with them, and then when they left, uh, one of my friends caught COVID from him, and then they told him, hey, you gave me COVID. I don't know if you know it. And he was like, no, I don't have COVID. And we're like, oh, okay. And then a week later, um, he was like, he, he explained, he like, I guess, tells the internet, I got, I think I got COVID, guys, because I lost my taste and blah, 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 blah. But he really, oh. but, but the thing goes, what, he didn't say it was COVID. He said it was COVID-like. So he was kind of, in a sense, still denying COVID. <laughs> And what pissed us off, yeah, what pissed us off more was that he denied, like, getting, I guess, my friend sick, and um, he wanted to hang out even when he was still sick, even knowing, you know, our friends got COVID from him, and we're like, uh, no. (laughs) So he, like, intention, he knew that he had the coronavirus and just didn't really care, or was he just... He didn't care. Just dumb and reckless. He's, he's both. He's fucking stupid. (laughs) (laughs) He's an idiot. That's what I was gonna say, um... And then after yeah, that, well, uh, I mean, at I, least I, no one got hurt. Like everyone uh, recovered. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad they recovered. And then, um, what was it? He wanted to hang out with Frankie and I, but Frankie wanted to get tested. You know, like just you know, just to be safe. Like I would like you to get tested before we hang out, because if you still have it, I don't want to. I want to have it. And he was like, No, I'm not getting tested. <laughs> and we're like, Uh, oh, okay. I guess he's like, I'm gonna wait my two weeks. Blah 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 blah. And we're like, uh, It'd be easier just to get tested. It's free. <laughs> And he's all like, no, I don't want to. And we're like, bruh, it's not that hard. Like, what the hell? Like, literally, they just, they just put a, they put a Q-tip up your nose, and it's like like, like 10 minutes, and they test it that way. Uh, yeah. But he made it such a big deal that he didn't want to get tested because he didn't believe in it, I guess. So we're like, bro, I, I don't know. I have a story about, like, tests. We, um, I was in Europe um, mm-hmm. during, like, it, during the entire pandemic. I was able to go to Europe because of a certain uh, set of events, and mm-hmm. um, we had to... We had to leave, but like at that time, you needed to have like a negative coronavirus test in order to like go on any flight. Yeah. So we like the the night before we got the uh, some tests, and like then we go to the plane like early in the morning, like forty minutes before we're supposed to go. Then it turns out that like the test needs to be like two hours before we go on the flight. <gasps> what? Yeah, I I was like. We took it last night. How are we going to get the coronavirus? And it's mm-hmm. going to like be a, 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 a transmissible in that amount of time, if, in any meaningful sense. Um, but yeah, it was, fortunately, we were able to find some um, 
uh, some other testing place and uh, go back in time. But th- that was that was literally like a hundred bucks down the fucking drain. <laughs> Damn. Like, it, it wasn't free for some reason. The the tests cost like a lot of money. Over there in Europe. Yeah, I, Damn. I, I don't know why. I remember it costing a lot, and um, we um, uh, the the the, the tests uh, they. What, what, what was about them? <laughs> um, oh yeah, we they um, th- there was two tests, and we had to be negative for them both. One of them was the rapid test, and then there was like the PCR or something. It, 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 it takes longer, right? So we mm-hmm. were like waiting to like get in line for our flight, just waiting for the test to come into our uh, to the emails, and it was like. It's like so, like um, <laughs> e- e- edging and no, not edging. <laughs> just um, <laughs> uh, suspenseful, you know. Yeah, there was suspense. Yeah. Damn, uh, bro. But at least you guys made it to the flight, though. So that's all that matters. Yes, we we were able to make it to the flight. Fortunately. Oh no, but I I would have been pissed though. I I know. Um, I think I haven't missed. It. I've only missed one flight. It was recently for my birthday, and that that kind of sucked, booty. <laughs> Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, it was for the Seattle trip. When I was supposed to go to Seattle, we were like, we were, I guess, an, we weren't even late, but kind of technically, but I guess you're supposed to be two hours, like, early, which I did not know, so, like, our flight was, like, at 7 in the morning. We got there, like, at 6, like, 6, I think, 6.20 in the morning, so, like, 40 minutes before the flight goes off, and they, yeah. they, they wouldn't let us on the plane. We're like, bro, what? So, oh, that is a lesson strange. learned. Yeah, that's a lesson learned. Don't, don't go to, like... Like, don't be, like, an hour early. Go, like, two hours early, because... Yeah, were... I'd always go, like, three hours early. It's so mm-hmm. weird. Um... Yeah, and that was so unfortunate. I couldn't get my refund either, because technically, like, like I got... I got even I even got warranty, too, like, insurance, and nothing, bro. Because apparently, like, the, the way I was supposed to get a refund was either, A, the flight got canceled, or some accident, or some disaster was involved with the plane, or the flight. Right. So, I technically, I didn't even get my refund. That's... Yeah. Stupid. Big. Were you able to get the flight later or something? No, I, I, we even tried getting a like a God. reschedule for the flight. They wouldn't let us. Like there was, it was all booked. That sucks. Yeah, it did suck. It's December, man. It's the busiest like for flights. So, one time, um, I, I, I when I was like taking flights by myself for the first time because I was uh, going in between Texas and New York, mm-hmm. um, I go to the exit gate to like uh, go to. Uh, Dallas or something. I, I find my exit date. I find my exit gate, but uh, the sign says like Detroit or something. I'm like, I don't want to go to Detroit. What is this? My ticket says that this time we're going to Dallas, but it says Detroit. I'm not going to Detroit. They're gonna steal all my shit. And, Hell uh, no! I have nothing nice in Detroit, bro. It just turned out that it was just like a huge fluke in the system, and like they had to turn off the the monitor too because it wouldn't stop displaying Detroit. <laughs> oh, it was like glitched or something, huh? Yeah, and then uh, eventually the uh, Dallas flight came around. So uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. We get on that. Th- those flights sucked though. They were the ones that didn't have TV screens. It was basically like a four-hour <laughs> bus trip, and you were cramped in between. Like, oh, every single time I want to gripe about this here. Every single time <laughs> I went on these flights, I was in the middle row, not oh, the row no. with the hallway where you had you could stick your legs out and have a little bit of free space, not the window side where you could get a nice scenery. In the middle, every single time. That's unfortunate for you. I- I've got window seat every with randos. <laughs> I've got window seat every time. Like you got window seat every time, huh? I got window seat every time, bro. I'm a baller, Lucky straight bastard. up. I'm a baller, bro. Literally, my name Aviator Man. I get whatever I want. <laughs> I get whatever yeah, I want. You, you are the Aviator Man. You probably are like in a conspiracy with like every flight agency ever. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I'm behind all of it. Like. I, I'm beginning to doubt that you didn't get a refund. Hell, I don't even think you need to pay to go on these flights. <laughs> I go for free, straight up. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. probably just take the flights yourself sometimes. I just, just like I just, you're the pilot. I kick the pilot out. Like, all right, I'm controlling the plane today. <laughs> I'm blind to it. Well, we have a lot of turbulence and fucking. We just we barely land. <laughs> uh, do a barrel roll with all the passengers. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I still don't know why I named myself Aviator Man. I I, I think it's just because of the goggles, but um, I, I, I cool. legit yeah. I still don't know the, the the real why I named myself Aviator Man. I I I know it must have been for some cool reason or something, but at the time I thought it was cool or something. But 
I don't know. I still don't even remember how I got the name. It was, yeah, I don't know. I have to, I have to talk to myself five years ago. I'd be like, why'd you, why'd you pick this name? <laughs> Does uh, Aviator Man in uh, canon have any flight experience? Um, I'm gonna say he does because technically I don't, but I'm gonna say he does have flight experience because I feel like it'd be a little right, stupid for him. It'd be a little stupid for him to have the name and not have uh, any flight experience. Yeah. So. Um, something I like remember I need to do with my character is uh, he's like, um, support uh, supposedly like kind of in advanced with the technology and like like medical tech. Mm -hmm. So I want to. Probably yeah, that's not, that yeah point. that's not really expanded too much. It's just automatically started starting off that he's like very um, educated on like uh, science and ma machinery. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I just I, I guess I just haven't had time to like expand on that yet. But um, I do want to show that uh, in the future rather than just have it be a throwaway thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think it'd be. Like I think it'd be important to show it like later on, like it it help him like while he like while he's still orange man, he's like well back in my day blah 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 or whatever like you know I took this educational class blah 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 something like that. Yeah. Or definitely. it could be flashbacks, of course, you know, like uh, Henry when he was a human. Yes, so, that would be cool too. That would be a little cool, like just orange man, like kind of reflecting back on his past, wishing to be human again. Yeah. Uh, what's the past of Aviator Man? Do you have a past of him, or is he just like ambiguous, like a? bounty hunter or something um he's not I, I right he's not technically a bounty hunter or anything like that he's just at the moment ambiguous kind of like um in a sense like how frank is kind of just he's just there in a sense i know frank i know frank does have an origin and stuff like that but for yes. at the moment avian man is um he's mysterious i do actually have a planned like uh like a planned idea to who like his identity how it started and stuff like that but i i won't uh i won't uh reveal that until like i'm actually done with the channel so <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's like a full fledged like idea, like um, basically his how he became Aviator Man, what led up to the events of Aviator Man, and what's gonna happen after. Uh, basically his origin, it's gonna be revealed at the very end of the like at, maybe like when I do like a three part or like a, like a series finale or something for the whole show. That's when I'm gonna start doing his identity uh past and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. an interesting idea. I'd be interested in seeing that. I think mm -hmm. um my show is probably like after uh, my big uh, project it's gonna become a bunch of uh small character origin or just their past lives um mm -hmm. maybe in the uh, it's going to show like uh, events in the future and present just like anything that i think would be interesting and then i'm gonna like try and string it together as a mm -hmm. A single timeline because uh I, I i can do like all these effects now and i want to like keep doing them but i want to also upload often so i might have to budget that i get you um i know i get after boy too I, I know i'll be uploading more so um yeah. i i know i've been i know i've been liking on that too everybody's been saying that like i should upload more and all this jazz and like i will i will i <laughs> uh, after the Definitely. film's done I'm almost done though, legit. Like I think I got like I think I've, I posted on Instagram like I have like five clips almost done, like left to do, and I'm I'm done with this film, and then I can start promoting the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, I do want to be self-aware about like um, the 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 length that I haven't uploaded on my main channel so far mm -hmm. because um, I do think that's probably not a smart idea. But I'm hoping that if I uh, can finish what I'm working on now, like at an accelerated pace which i mm -hmm. think i've been able to do recently if i can get it out there like soon um i'll be able to get on a consistent track with the main channel yeah i know for sure i'm gonna be um self-aware i'm definitely gonna be making, be making a video be like hey my bad my bad for lack of uploads <laughs> yeah. like a little apology video like how the youtubers do it guys yeah. i didn't want to make this video <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what uh, I I told you this before we started recording, but um, I've been recording myself like uh, with OBS and just um, having that running while I'm doing everything on uh, Blender or Premiere or After Effects, and mm -hmm. afterwards I'm probably gonna string it all together into a massive timeline. Yeah. Uh, that, sorry, yeah, that'd time be cool. Lapse. Time lapse. Yeah, that definitely would be cool to see. Like just like at the end of the f in either like an unlisted video in like your description or like at the end of the. The video will show like a whole like like one minute like condensed version of like hours of work. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's insane. Some of these videos are like seven hours long because I'm working on this for so long. Really? Oh my god, bro, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I it's I it's like sometimes uh, I'll like it, it's actually really interesting because before I started recording, there's so many things I didn't know that I know now. Mm -hmm. And I caught myself, I like caught, I was recording myself while I like figured something out that was like a bombshell to me. And I, yeah. uh, I catch my reaction to that and just like really funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Have you, have you used any of your, uh, like recording, uh, you're basically your, your record. Oh my God. Your, uh, recordings. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Uh, hmm. well, uh, my, my, re I, I guess I've been like looking back at them if I need to, uh, figure out something i've done that i forgot yeah um but besides that i just have it as like an archive so okay that's cool <laughs> <laughs> i know i know i definitely would be going back and forth just to look at it be like all right what i do wrong or like i, I did it i did it right before let me see what i did <laughs> yeah definitely mm -hmm. uh, I, I think i think i should start doing that as well i i maybe i think i don't know if i should because i know the what i'm doing it's not too complicated but it's just it's really time crunching so and yeah. uh, I, and I'm doing a lot on cycles too. Like when it comes to rendering, I'm doing it all on cycles. Um, yeah, and uh, you don't have a 3090 like I do. So yeah, like so like it takes it, it takes forever. And I I'm tempted to do Eevee, but it's just Eevee doesn't have that look I want to make it like fit in better. Yeah, th there are some settings you can turn on actually if you just go into like the properties of uh, the engine and turn mm -hmm. on some things that can make it more look more realistic or high definition. Oh yeah, I I've seen some videos where they have like like add-ons for EV to make it similar to Cycles and it still runs like EV. So I think I might use that as an alternative, but um, for now yeah. I'm just gonna run for Cycles. Then when I when I have to jump back into Blender again to do CGI and stuff like that, I'll yeah. definitely oh. look how to expand on EV. Uh, for people who don't understand, uh, EV <laughs> is like a video game render engine that's like uh, real time in Blender, uh, and Cycles is um, a much more realistic uh, engine that like uses actual ray tracing, and it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it does. <laughs> too much time. Way too much time. Yes. Yeah, I know with my I know with my tax money, I'm buying a thirty eighty. <laughs> I got I'm my. Not... Uh, I, I'm I got not paying my, my uh, taxes. I'm getting a 3080 with that. <laughs> no, my, my my tax refund because I, I already did my taxes and um uh with my tax refund I'm gonna buy a uh, probably a 3080. So, uh, because I work because I pay enough to, into state taxes to where like I'll get a refund. So I'm like, all right, big bet. Oh damn. Well, yeah, you don't you don't you don't technically have to pay taxes. You don't unless you unless you work enough to where like it's um. Like if you're getting paid enough to where it's like the t the the refund isn't I guess uh, balanced I guess. Mm. So let's say you're working like, um, I'm say let's say you're getting paid like thirty like thirty dollars an hour and you're working like five days a week. With that type of like wage and like how much you're getting paid, you're paying taxes instead of receiving taxes because you're getting so much already so much money from working instead of like. Like let's say like a uh, minimum wage. Like I know with uh, five guys, I was working like the most I can, but I was also paying into state taxes into my checks. So with every uh, state, I guess every state tax I paid, it would go into my refund. Yeah, yeah it's definitely That's, you. Def yeah. You definitely. I haven't working. paid taxes yet, but oh, it sounds complicated. It, it's not too complicated. At first, it's a little complicated, but basically, when you're working, you want your tax percentage into state taxes to be a little higher. So when it comes to say a refund and. Uh, if you didn't work enough, you could still receive something for a refund, or um, and if you and basically, or if like you worked a little, you don't have to pay too much. So it's kind of like if you want more money, you still, you gotta have to pay a little more money for uh, the refund. But if you also want a balanced amount of money, and you're paying, if you're paying more money, you'll receive more money. It's kind of it's weird. You gotta kind of give to get to get in a sense. Yeah. Speaking it's of five to, guys, actually. Receive. Uh, you reminded me of a, a certain thing that happened recently with uh, Uber <laughs> Eats. Um, so I, I got five guys on Uber Eats, and I got like a this, this a soda, mm -hmm. and uh, the Uber Eats guy comes over and he comes onto the um, the porch area, just like uh, up the steps, and he, yeah. he tries to put the drink down, and then he just he drops it. <laughs> he <gasps> puts the drink onto the like the front step, but uh -huh. somehow it falls and it like no. spills everywhere right 
and I, I I come out and I'm like, well, it's fine. I have a drinks myself, so I don't really mind as long as the burger and everything's fine. Mm. And uh, then like the the first thing this guy says is like, sir, please, please don't give me a negative rating. Oh no. <laughs> And I was like, I was never even thinking about it. I think that the embarrassment you've become should be punishment enough. <laughs> exactly, bro. I didn't actually say that, but that's basically what I was thinking. Well, like, what but you yeah, did I... right there to that soda, that's your punishment right there. You, the embarrassment of me seeing you do that. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh, but, you, uh, did, did you give him a five-star rating or did you give him like a negative rating? Uber Eats does thumbs down and thumbs up now, but I gave him oh. a thumbs up. Oh, okay. I just didn't tip him. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay. Call, call me a criminal, but I don't tip the Uber Eats I people. I don't. I. That's a tax. That is a yeah. Uber Eats tax. I'm not yeah. taxing. I'm not paying taxes for a corporation like Uber Eats. Exactly. I don't know. Just the tips is a bit much, especially if like I don't want to go out there and you know. I I think the tips is a little too much. The most I'll pay is maybe a dollar. <laughs> just to yeah. just to see, I paid the, the tips. <laughs> I mean, like if if the person like, oh yeah, if they're really like, nice, if they're really yeah. nice and they did a really good job, fast job, yeah, I'll tip them like five or ten bucks, so a little Definitely. more than I should. But man, but now tips. these days, I, yeah, but now these days I don't even do Uber Eats anymore. It's just, the, I, I think it's too much just for the food to get. Like I I remember I I got something from uh, it's a place called Rallies. It might be called Checkers or where you're at, but I'm not sure. Mm. It's like a burger place. Um, I got like two, I got like two chicken sandwiches and like a, I think like a, like a milkshake or something. And, uh, it ended up being almost close to like $20, bro. I was like, dude, ain't no way, bro. Like if I would have gone there myself, it would have been like close to maybe $10 and $9. I was like, yeah. I, it's like double the price. And I don't live that far away from there. I'm like, so I'm like, mm -mm, no, thank it's, you. And I, <laughs> it's surprising. Yeah. Um, yeah. For bigger cities like where you're at, like I feel like that it's maybe a little more justifiable because in where I'm at, literally everything's like maybe like ten or eight minutes away a drive. So like it's everything's literally where you need where it needs to be and it's right close to each other. So Uber Eats is not really effective here, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I um, I canceled my Uber Eats subscription um, and was just like, I think it's gonna expire like this month. I mm -hmm. I, I canceled it after I saw a certain ad. I, I don't exactly remember what it said. It was something along the lines of, uh, if you support racism, delete the app. So that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> what? You serious? Oh my god! That's an actual really? ad they did though. No way. Let me look this up. Okay. Uh, um, it's like I'm deleting the app. If you're racist. <laughs> Uh, ain't no way they said this. I, th I think it was like a subdot a building or something they did somewhere. I don't know. Uber it's tells racists to delete Uber. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> like like that's gonna change anything. Like what? Yeah. Uber. The last it's on it. the message was directed toward racists encouraging them to stop using the platform. Um, Great. We yeah. all know why they did that too. It wasn't to get racists to not uh mm -hmm. uh use the app because like no one's not going to use the app from that no one wants to be called a racist yeah <laughs> but all the anti-racists will flock over to the app be like oh i'm going to support you because you're so uh you're so strong and burly against the, the yeah, evil it's, racists it's, it's, it's that are on, flooding this country yeah it's on the nose like they could just say they don't support racism that's literally all you got to say we don't support racism you like it, it doesn't get any cut and clear after that. You don't need to make some big. I kind of, like, I kind of hope that. I hope that's precedent <laughs> that any company doesn't support racism. Yeah, like yeah. it's just it, it, you don't even you don't even need to say you like you you're against you know racism and stuff like that. Like it doesn't need to be like a big thing you need to state. It's just it should be a default thing that people like. It's just a mindset you should be like like automatically you're not racist like in that mindset you shouldn't be like sitting yeah we're against racism yeah we're the first company to say and you heard it here first folks like yeah. uh, we we should already assume that you guys aren't racist you know <laughs> dude when i was growing up like i did not think anything about race i i knew that people uh, like were born with different skin colors occasionally mm -hmm. but i didn't care yeah i just didn't mind it but now we have to deal with like the idea of oh we all we all need to pack ourselves into groups now because some of our cultures align and it's like we don't have to do that yeah i know i know i i've known about racism since like i was like like maybe like 6 or since kindergarten cuz um i'm like a white hispanic person so like i'm i'm technically hispanic but i'm white so it's 
it's it's a bit strange. So like I know with a lot of schools I went to, a lot of, it was very predominantly Hispanic. So a lot of a lot of Mexican kids there. So um, ten, I'd get a lot of like statements saying like I was a gringo. I didn't. I wasn't really truly Mexican. I uh, <laughs> oh, you know stuff God. like that. Like I should go like back to like 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 basically where, where white people are at, like fucking like California or like Seattle or some random ass fucking state. They'd be like, go back to Texas or some shit. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm Mexican. What are you guys talking about? They're like, no, you're not. You're white. I'm like, bro, what? And they're like, speak Spanish. I'm like, I, I don't know Spanish. And they're like, yeah, you're not Mexican. So it's just a lot of like, a lot, basically just disowning and shaming me for not really, you know, being very up to date on, I guess, Mexican culture. Damn, um, that sucks. I grew oh, up yeah. in a, I, I had, uh, when I was little, I was in mostly white school. So there's no, there's no racism or anything yeah, before, uh, among the kids. <laughs> I, and I, I kind of wished I was a little like, you know, darker or something like that. Cause I, I could have blended in very easily and I would have less like, you know, eyes on me and stuff like that. But Damn, that's so, you, don't, you shouldn't have to feel that way. That's terrible. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's, it's funny to say that. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people say like, oh, white people don't, you know, they don't, it, racism never happens to them. I'm like, you know, it, it does. It's just. It's not as it's not as big as you know as like other races deal with you know what I mean. It's just a lot of like shaming and a lot of name calling. But as I got older, I know like s- around sixth grade or seventh grade, it stopped. So kids started realizing like, hey, we're kind of we're doing something racist, kind of. <laughs> like it's it's all it all depends on uh, who's to if people see themselves as different tribes and who's the predominant tribe in a certain location. Yeah, right? it doesn't really like um, matter like oh what what people are saying uh who, who think they know how the whole entire world works it's, yeah. it's just how things happen locally that's how you got yeah. to do it i know i know when i got these days i don't even say i'm hispanic anymore because whenever i say like i'm mexican and stuff like that they'll be like oh where where originally is your family from in mexico i'm like ah, i don't know like i don't know because my, my family isn't they aren't really traditionally mexican because they don't they don't they're not just they don't celebrate the culture really because it just doesn't really fit with us i guess so Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's just it, it's kind of weird how every like kind of like I know Mexico like Mexicans it's like really deep rooted like origins and stuff like that like oh my family's from this certain part of Mexico blah 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 and then I know with my family it's like they don't know anymore because they don't care for it <laughs> they don't care for where we've started from so um, it's a little funny that, like and I say that and they're all like oh so you're not really Mexican and stuff like that I'm like no I I I'm Mexican is just I uh, I just don't really care for my my ancestry through you know my Mexican roots because. I don't know. We haven't really kept track of it. Yeah. Like I never just, really, yeah. like, um, well, for me, I never really thought about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm mostly just Roman Catholic. Um, mm-hmm. I think occasionally, like, there's also the whole uh, Nordic side to me. Um, yeah. Uh, but that's, I, I don't really, like, uh, have a conflict with that, personally. Yeah. I know recently I figured out um, – it was just recently, I think like two months ago. I, I didn't even know my dad's side. My dad's side's like – he like it's like German, white, like I think a little bit of native or something like that. But like mm. we, I, I looked up – like I recently looked up. I didn't even know like I had like other like uh, um, I guess uh, I guess great uncles and stuff like that. My, I didn't even know my great like, – I recently just figured out my, grand, my grandpa, who's dad at the moment. He had a brother who had oh. I guess kids and I recently just, you know, just you know, recently connected to them. They're not in Arizona, but like somewhere else. But I didn't even know they existed, and I, I and I, I didn't even know I had, I had such a crazy like family history. Like I know one of my great 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 great, great like grandpas like served in like the this I guess I guess in the Civil War, and he was for uh, uh the Union. So I was like, bro, I'm a, I, I'm I'm basically against slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, it's in my family so blood, bro. We're against slavery. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of. I know, I, know, I guess um, uh, I never really like uh kept track of my like ancestors and what they did um Mm -hmm. i think uh i know one that would um draw cars really well he has we have a bunch of drawings that he would make that would like cars and they're like really intricate and interesting oh really yeah so have you yeah oh sorry sorry you continue well, it's just it's uh, old timey cars, but like at the time they were current, so it's interesting seeing like these painting these drawings uh-huh. from the past. But uh, you were gonna say, oh yeah. So are, are you not interested to know like your family history or past or? Um, I think I it doesn't exactly my my ancestors, my far ancestors don't really um, have much of a. Uh, impression on me as uh, much as my current family and uh, relatives do i think oh, okay uh, yeah I, I think it's it might be nice to like 
look at what your ancestors have done and stuff but in the end um your genes and stuff don't really matter like your, mm-hmm. your cultural backgrounds or ethnicity none of it matters it's, all that matters is here and now your family and uh yeah your your current um uh, traditions that you play out and stuff okay now i was just I wondering if you wanted to know like if you wanted to know for fun <laughs> um if i wanted i i, I guess um yeah maybe i i uh, would be a little yeah. curious sometimes but um i guess i'm just not curious enough to actively look into it mm-hmm. i know it'd be, i know it'd be funny like uh, i don't know i think it'd be funny to have like i guess a concern like a relative who's done something crazy like I know, um, what is it? I'm not sure if you remember Dr. Wabowski. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, his uh, one of his one of his great great like grandpas is John Wilkes Booth, mm. the guy that shot Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, my one of my friends is legit <laughs> related to John Wilkes Booth, and That's I I, I, I find that so crazy and fascinating. It's like, dude, you your family's responsible for killing Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And I still I still say that to this day, and. One thing he can relate to John Wilkes Booth <laughs> is um is they both fell 15 feet and uh, damaged themselves. <laughs> Cuz um, yeah, I was fall? hiking I was hiking with Dr. With Dr. Wabowski like way back then like cuz I think we were in like 7th grade or 8th grade. We were on a boy scout trip and we were like climbing mountains and stuff like that. And I guess one of our boy scout leaders saw us going up there and he yelled at us to come down. We got so scared so we rushed all the way down. And uh, Dr. Wabowski he like was rushing. He was so scared and he ended up like as he was climbing down, a rock broke, like, where his hand was placed, and he fell, like, 15 feet, and he, like, damaged oh. his knee and his face, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. It's, so, it's so crazy. And I compare him to John Wilkes Booth because they both fell 15 feet <laughs> yeah, trying to <yeah>. run. <laughs> <laughs> I, did I, I – I guess um, I never really, like, uh, fell, like, on a high height like that before. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that seems pretty crazy. Uh, it is some crazy stuff. And I don't have any crazy family members. The only one I know that's crazy is the one that served in Civil War in the Union. So I think that's kind of cool. His name was Cornelius Gann. <laughs> Such a yeah. weird name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hmm. that's that's my relatives though. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that my uh, relatives did. Well, I do know that my uh, grandfather uh, like uh, kind of made a bunch of programs on the college that I went to. That's why I went okay. to it. Um, that, but that's like kind of the only major history of my uh, relatives that I know about. I I guess I just, uh, unless if it's like important history to like not repeat your mistakes, I don't really mind. I don't really look at um, what uh, people have done in the past. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, it wouldn't really matter. Like, even if, like, my, my ancestors were, like, slave owners, I wouldn't really care. I mean, it'd be funny. Yeah. I think it'd be funny, but I'm not I'm not a slave owner. I, I'm against slavery, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm not even I'm not, – they're not even, like, alive anymore. They're not related to me. So, like – I mean, they're related, but, like, they wouldn't um, affect me who I am because they just – they're not alive. That's what really yeah, matters. That's, that's one thing, right, because there are – there's actually people now who think that if your ancestors uh, or some of them uh, own slaves, then that means you uh, are, racist, are inherently or... bad because of that. That's yeah, and I, I, terrible I think that's – that is, that is incredibly stupid. I think that's just that's, – that's, that's rude in my opinion. That's evil to say. <laughs> yeah, I, so. I just think it's immoral. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I don't think my, like, again, I don't call Dr. Wabowski, like, a, a you know, uh, a villain or anything like that. He's one of the sweetest guys. He's a Mormon, like, believer. He's one of the nicest people. What does he even cuss, bro? <laughs> he's like, Did he's I tell far- you what? Sorry. Uh, 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 you, you can continue, then I'll say something. Okay, but he's far from what John Wilkes could ever be. Like, he's, like, one of the nicest people I've ever met. So, it's just, you, you can't, like, you can't just, like, compare your... Your, your ancestors to you even if your ancestors were like the sweetest people ever like you know they it was abraham lincoln and stuff like that you could be one of the most like like the terrible people out there yeah but you yeah, continue I, I see. um well when you said mormon that reminded me of this one time when uh we were leaving like a fast food place and mm-hmm. a bunch of mormons just pulled up in a horse and carriage nah no way the fast food place and they go in and then it just starts pouring rain it's like a squall <gasps> what's the... everywhere so like we were joking saying that like god held back the rain for the mormons to, <laughs> to take shelter it's so funny that is funny 
yeah. Oh, something well, weird about Mormons. Um, I don't know what it is, but a lot of Mormons are blonde and white, and they all have the same haircut. I, 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 I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a cult or something, but... Dude, it's it's like, definitely just cultural, the traditional yeah, stuff. Dude, but even here in, in Arizona, you my Arizona, we're like all Hispanic. Everybody's almost everybody's Hispanic here, bro. I I, I went to like um like even Dr. Wabowski, he's he's Hispanic and he's like doesn't even look nothing like a Mormon, but he's a Mormon. But I I went to the I sometimes I go to the Mormon churches to for because I guess the Boy Scouts are located there. And dude, like both the Mormon churches that were located here, full of like white and like blonde people. I'm like, dude, I I, I can't explain it. Like, I, I don't understand how, you know, like, um, how it's full of Hispanic white people when, you know, like, majority of the population here in uh, Yuma is Hispanic. That's why I find it so insane. It's like, uh, I don't think it's anything, like, ne necessarily, like, evil or anything like that, but I find it so <laughs> crazy. Like, you find like, it bro. intimidating? <laughs> I, 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 Seeing not... all these people that look like clones of each other. Just Dude, yes. Place. Like, they look, I don't mean to be racist, but they. <laughs> But like yeah. it's that it's that quote that everybody says they they, they look the same because everybody's rocking the same clothing, same haircuts, and everybody's predominantly white and like and they're like the same shade of white. It's not like variation of white. It's like the same shade of white, with like freckles on their face, and it's so weird to see. It's like, dude, like how do you guys all collectively come here? <laughs> That's what I find yeah. insane. It's like are you guys like know. a are you guys like a hive mind or something? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. It's it's just you see it everywhere. Just like uh, people tend to want to collect into groups they um but uh -huh. you have to resist that um the temptation like in order to k remain as an individual oh yeah for sure um but at least my friend he's still he, still, he doesn't find it anything odd so um i, I commend him so i'm like hey good job for you because he at least because he him and his family they're like hispanic so they kind of they kind of like stand out they're like a little black dot on a whiteboard <laughs> in a sense so they kind of stand out a lot but at least they were at least they're, they're treated very highly at the mormon church though so it's cool yeah mm -hmm. but i know one of my friends he's he's um i know i have another hispanic friend who's mormon but he gets kind of treated unfairly at the mormon church which is kind of um there's some Someone's debate whether got the oh, wait, hold on a second. his name is me i'm recording a podcast can you not come in here is that purple is that purple prick it's not purple prick. It's oh. I mean like sometimes it is. It's uh, him. It's him. Yeah, it's, it's him. It's him. Him. Tell him I said hi. Tell him I said hi. Yo, hey, hey, him. Uh, Avian man says hi. I want his oh, audio. He's, oh, he's he's back. No bitches. Oh. No, I have bitches. You don't. He has bitches. <laughs> no. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, you. I'll I'll come down later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll He's like knocking on the door downstairs, and I'm like, I'm recording a podcast. And then he just comes up. <laughs> no, no shit skipping. <laughs> he's gonna just, he's just gonna take over the, take over the podcast for you. Yeah, he's just gonna like stab me in the back, and then just hop on the chair and start recording, just like acting like nothing happened. Exactly, bro. <laughs> he's gonna just, he's just gonna murder you. He's like, yep, this is me, Orange Man. Uh, me, Orange Man. <laughs> yeah, he's um. Yeah, he, he's he's just gonna like fucking murk me from the back. He's just gonna <laughs> take over your shit. your orange clothing and just wear it all over him. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, uh, I I don't know. He's uh, I I don't know why, I, why I'm still like talking um about mm -hmm. that. I'm, I'm just trying to find a topic to continue talking oh, about. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I don't how know. many? But yeah, how many siblings you got? Though? I think you have like one one brother and like a sister or. Uh, yeah, I, I'm in a family of seven. So. Jesus. Okay, I didn't. I, I didn't think get I that can, big. I don't think I'll get doxxed if I say that, right? No, you can't get doxxed for saying how many family members you got. <laughs> Wait, I can't. I can or can't. I can't. I don't think you can. That that, that there's no okay. way they figure figure you out. Like unless they did some real like police work. Yeah. No, okay. I don't. I don't think they could. I'm about to do like a uh, a Bill Maher, just mm -hmm. like. Uh, H three issues like how uh, do you have a sister and he's like why, why are you asking me these questions can we cut this out? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I know I have a big kind of family like kind of like a big family. Um, I have like three brothers. Um, two of them are technically my cousins because uh, some family drama happened with them. Um, mm. one of them and I have another brother who's black, so like from a different dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> so technically yes, I do have the N word past for life. If you may, Whoa. if you're wondering, if you're wondering, I do have the inward pass, 
and then That's I have uh, and I have three sisters. All three of them are technically are. I think they're all the same same mom and dad as I am. I believe. I believe because I think one you of them. Believe. Yeah, because I believe one of them is like a different dad because she was like um. My, my my mom was a cheater, straight up. My mom straight up cheated on every every fucking guy she could. <laughs> so uh, I don't really I don't really I don't really care. It's kind of like I think it's funny at this point because it's like um I think I've lost that emotional like uh like attachment to it. So it's like I don't really get upset by it anymore. It's more of like a, it's more of like a joke to me. It's like like oh yeah, my mom she she she's kind of like the cheating person to the family. Blah 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 blah. So um yeah, wow. but. I don't know. It's 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 just it's a little funny for me to say. My parent, my people always be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Blah blah blah. I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. It, it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect me too much. So I, I've been living this for two decades. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm over. My mom's been doing it since like I was born. So uh, I, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and I get, I guess I'm just a, my family's polar opposite. We um, uh, we we all look like clones of each other. <laughs> Oh my god! One way or <laughs> I know so, my yeah. siblings, my sisters. They look kind of like they're like downgrade versions of me. That you know, like they just mm. every version of them that came out, they look like more muddier and muddier. <laughs> oh damn! I'm the purest <laughs> version of 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 our siblings. Really? I'm the I'm the alpha. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, they so no, they the look nicer one. than I do. I I know I have so I've messed up teeth and like I have like a very kind of like a snap like a very sloped nose. Oh, as that's fine. I. I have um, molars that won't uh, come out. Well, I, I have molars, uh, molar teeth that don't exist. They, um, you don't have molars? No, I, I – um, there's – on my bottom jaw, there's uh, just like four molars. Uh, I, I don't have two on both si- on either side. Yo, hey, at least you got to keep your wisdom teeth then. Uh, yeah, the, the wisdom teeth are the ones on the top jaw, right? Yeah, they're all well, they're really in the very back, back, like in the back of your uh, your, your rows of your teeth. They kind of come up later. Like usually, people have to get them removed because the, usually the wisdom teeth will push the other teeth and they kind of push in together. Yeah. I, okay. I, I I don't know how to describe it. It's it's basically um I don't have two teeth on my bottom jaw, and there was I actually had. Uh, okay, I I'm remembering more. Sorry. So <laughs> on my bottom jaw, there are four teeth four adult teeth that like didn't develop mm-hmm. right and um for uh, two of them um there i never had baby teeth for them but uh for two others that are a little bit further in, uh, forward in my jaw they mm-hmm. um uh there was baby teeth and uh it took x-rays to find out that there were no adult teeth for that so i've actually had those uh teeth pulled because baby teeth are more likely to get cavities and raw and that would uh, go to the adult teeth if it yeah, wasn't would. dealt with. So um, now I just have uh, two gaps on my bottom jaw. Hey, this was up. Less brushing, less brushing. <laughs> it's actually it's actually not that bad. Um, but uh, it's the biggest uh, annoyance for me right now is my braces. Cause uh, oh, I I thought when I got these braces I'd lose my overbite, but that hasn't happened so Mm -hmm. i just want these things gone now but apparently i can't get them gone until like the summer yeah i know i have a huge overbite like it's not huge huge but like if i close like i can tell it's over my teeth like my my overbite but like um um i know my canine tooth is like where am i i think it's my right canine tooth it's like way up it's like a monkey tooth um (laughs) what is it my bottom teeth i think they're like kind of colliding together like my canine teeth are like over my um my kind of mm. my uh, I think they're called incisors or something like that, lateral incisor. But my bottom canine are kind of are kind of like stepping in front of my other teeth, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, and I think that's yeah. it. And I know what I think my top tooth is chipped, and I chipped it from eating Rocky Road ice cream. I don't know how the fuck that happens, but <laughs> oh, okay, that's something weird for me. So um, my front tooth uh, on my uh, top jaw, like the, the one of the big ones. Um, yeah. I rem- is at some point. I remember just when I was little, I was running around in the dark and I just hit my face head first into something. Oof. Like, and um, I think whatever happened then, or that's at least the story that I remember, um, mm-hmm. whatever happened then, when my adult teeth came out, there was like, there's like a white line going across one of my front teeth. Uh, and a white that's line? Like, yeah, it's like it's like a crack, but it reformed. It like formed back Ooh. together before it came out. Oh, uh, that's it's weird. Really so yeah, that's, I have a cool, scar though. on my tooth. <laughs> so it's like it's like a crack that reformed itself. Yeah, something like that. Wow. I, I honestly don't know what happened, but it's um, 
That is cool. That's weird. That's cool though. You can explain it like yeah, it's a cracked tooth that fixed itself in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even I don't know if that's true or not, but like I I, there's there's definitely like a white dent line sort of thing on my uh, front tooth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever gotten any scars in the past? I uh, have one on my chin. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Um, any scars? Uh, no, not really, because my body heals really well. Like, I don't get bruises either. Like, if I get punched really hard, I don't get bruises. Um, which is strange. I know, I, I don't know if that's normal with just guys, but, um, I know, like, if I get hit, like, I know I've gotten my fingers trapped on doors. Like, I've, I've been punched, I've been punched a lot. Um, but no, I've never really been bruised or anything like that. But I have, I've had one scar on, my, on the back of my, it's on my back. It's like a huge, like, uh, like, like a oh. circle. Um, it was from, it was when I was playing in Burger, the Burger King playground and, um, <laughs> and I basically, I scraped my back on top of one of the plastic, like doorways, like the tunnels, I guess. And I scraped my Damn. back, like, like a rub, like, like a burn. I, I scraped my back on the plastic and it, and I guess it, it, it burned my skin and it left a giant black scab. It was fucking, it was like a fucking dark ass scab, bro. Like it was like, like a fucking bug on my back or something, but I, I know it's still there on my back. I've seen it. Like when I look in the mirror. Like and I turn like I've seen I think the last time I checked was like maybe a year ago but it's still there so it was from yeah. a fucking playing in the Burger King playground bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, um, I've um, I I just remember one time I fell um, when I was very little uh, onto a coffee table and I like my chin hit it in such a way that I just busted open and I had to go to the hospital. Ouch! This was, this was right after my brother was born too, so we left the hospital just for me to fall, bust my chin, and go back to get stitches. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. But how bad was the cut? Was it really bad or? Um, I th- I think there's you can still see like the a, a faint line right now to this day, and it's it's like uh, well over a decade old. Oh damn! Okay um was it i think i think my teeth are a result like how my teeth are messed up i think they're a result of me landing on my face so much <laughs> I, the amount of times yeah. i've landed on my face is uncountable like i've had i've had basketballs thrown on my face i've landed on my face on concrete um i i think i've done like like i we, i used to like i think when i was roller skating as well um i landed on my face like hard face on another sidewalk i've uh, tripped over a fence and i landed my face on a wooden board and and then i fell on the ground with on my face and then um I think I've I think I've ran into like into a brick wall with my face, um, I don't know, oh, fuck man. ton of my face, bro. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. It may explain why I'm stupid. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. If like you actually like lose intelligence from getting like your head hit a couple times. Uh, I don't think it's true. I, I know I've been. Hit, I think I've hit my head. Like my mom, she like she hit my head on door frames and stuff like that. All the what? Time, so. Yeah. So that's what I've been told. Like. Uh, I guess my mom, my brother was sad or something like that because I guess I okay this was like I think I beat up my brother one day, and um, he was like really mad at me and I guess my mom told him something I didn't even know that she told him like she told him that she would she hit my door like hit my head on so many door frames that she, at this point she had to put like she had to like basically put like a blanket on top of my head and my brother used that as like an, as like an insult like haha Alex didn't get my head like my head hit on a door I'm like what are you talking about. And he's like, oh, mom told me this. And I asked mom. And I was like, yeah, I hit your head so many times on the door frame. I was like, bruh, what? Bro, <laughs> like, this... like, this explains why I have, like, ADHD, bruh. <laughs> this sounds like a very disturbing upbringing, uh, upbringing I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it, it got me mad, bro. I was like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> but I, I think I think it could explain why, like, I had, like, um, severe, like, distractions in school and stuff like that. I think uh, Not now anymore. I think it, it's kind of like maybe I've recovered from it, but um back in like when i was like from like kindergarten all the way to like from maybe like freshman to sophomore i i would always i'd be easily distracted um i couldn't focus a lot in school and stuff like that i know my senior year i, I definitely stopped i guess stopped that distraction and stepped up in school because i was missing a lot of credits in high school <laughs> yeah i don't know um i feel like just every single time i tried to focus on a uh, school more i found myself less um motivated to do any of it mm-hmm. like and, and so but this also happened like as time went on so i think i just as i got older i got less and less interested in um like just core curricula uh, core curriculum kind of stuff yeah. and i i, I just kind of like lost interest and um not because like it was easy uh i suppose mm-hmm. i i just because it wasn't the stuff that i wanted to do simply so yeah, yeah um but what is i know high school uh 
dude oh my god okay so it is a little i think it's embarrassing for me to say this but um i don't think i definitely don't think uh it reflects on who i am anymore i think i think i'm i think i'm a much more not much more i think i'm more intelligent than i am i was before but i think from freshman to from junior year dude i was missing like i think over 13 credits and i had like a one a 1.3 gpa man it was really oh. bad embarrassingly bad oh my god because it was i always didn't i didn't return in any work i was always absent and all this jazz and i think my senior year is when i kind of like I think I should. <laughs> I think I should start. Uh, uh, start doing my work. I know my. I know my senior year I got straight A's, cause, um, dude, like oh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I think that was good. It was like a, like a, it was almost in a sense like, hey, you need to start working on yourself. So senior year I had straight A's, but it did not. I did not um, fix my absences. I think my senior year I had sixty absences. Um, uh, but it was, school was easy though. I think my senior, senior year was so easy. Um, but with the absences, dude, it was bad. I, I had to like I had to do a lot of like makeup work. Uh, I I even had to start in a play, bro. Like, my, cause I was in choir, and I, they the teacher was like, uh, "I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass you to, like let you pass this class unless you start in this play for me." I was like, "No, nah, no way." So like, I had to I had to be in a play for like two I think two like two days like back to back. I had to play like a pirate. and had to memorize all these songs and like uh choreographed fights and stuff like that. So uh I I I. I I guess start in a play to remove my absences. So I guess that was oh, epic. <laughs> okay, I, I remember. Uh, okay, I had you reminded me of uh, the Spanish teacher that I had. That was so god awful. It's uh -huh. the reason that I like never like was interested in learning Spanish again. Yeah, and like I I, I just don't know. Like the, she was really bad at like trying to get us to um, like learn new topics and we just had to all do it ourselves after school and um like like she, she if anything didn't go her way she would just like shut down the class and give everyone like fuck load of work to do damn and, uh yeah eventually just like me and like half the people just gave up mm -hmm. so it is nuts um that's insane but I remember, like, there's this one thing that we're doing in, like, the auditorium or something. And, like, this um, one person, he, like, he did something right. I forgot what it was, but uh, it wasn't, like, she, she thought it was wrong. So she just, like, started, like, taking participation points off of him for no reason. It was insane. Bruh. I don't know. I'm, I'm babbling on about a memory that I don't even remember half, mm -hmm. uh, half ass. But... So did you did you pass the class or no? Uh, yeah, I passed every class. Um, it's oh, just okay. I don't think I um, did. Uh, Sometimes, like as time went on, I just uh, uh, didn't like. I wasn't interested enough to like uh, actively get good grades. If there was a video project, do, though, I I did really well because <laughs> uh, I was. That's that's probably like what my interests started becoming with uh, making videos and stuff. Yeah. I think um, I've made I think I've made like two video like projects for school. One of them, now that I think about it, dude, it was racist. Oh my god! <laughs> like, uh, and we presented that too for class. Oh my god, it was for a political class. It was um, um, I believe it was uh economics and government. And uh, dude, at the time I was friends with these redneck conservative motherfuckers. Oh my god, like they were like straight up like conservative flag and blah 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 and uh straight up right to like. Like right to the bone, bro. They got like, like extremely right. You know what I mean? So they're. Oh my god, it was. Okay. It was. It's. It's embarrassing so to think I, about. I, it. I get. I get the kind of group you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, we made a project. It was talking about. Um, I think the Bill of Rights or something like that. Like the the Ten Amendments. Ten Amendments. I don't, I can't even state what the Ten Amendments are anymore. But, um, yeah. at the time it was about the Ten Amendments or something like that. And uh, do we like? I think one of them, one of the amendments we used, I played a, a, a stereotypical Mexican with a, with nachos, with tacos, and a fucking sombrero. And I, I, I spoke in a, I spoke in a very, um, Hispanic accent. And I don't even, I don't even speak like that, but it was a very Hispanic accent. It was a very poor portrayal. And these, and these guys, like I was friends with, they recorded it. They were, they were playing as the white American saviors and stuff like that. And you're like, uh, like we gotta get you out of our country, blah blah blah. And now that I think about it, I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> like it just basically played every racist check in the book. And we presented that in class. Oh, <laughs> and, well, and we thought, I don't and know we thought much it was the about that, but that sounds like that sounds funny. Oh my god, we thought it was the funniest shit ever. I think I still have a clip of me like I I, I gotta find it though. It's like on my phone or something. But it's like I played as a character named Jose, 
Yep. And yeah, mm. and I ate a and a, it's like I ate a fucking like a taco shell and like I I danced around like a Mexican and stuff like that, dude. Embarrassingly racist. It's I I understand there, there's like there, you can you can make racist jokes and stuff like that, but like this was like this was poor. <laughs> and then we we Dude, oh, they did you dirty. Yeah, and they did themselves dirty by playing like um like racist motherfuckers. Like they were like the white Americans. They had like like the like American clothing and like um the the basically like the Punisher shit. Like you know how like the, the racist Americans they have like the Punisher American like logo and stuff like that. It's just stereotypical <laughs> shit. And yeah. um oh my god, bro. It, and we presented that. And we thought it was the funniest stuff, the funniest like the funniest video ever. And it was it was terrible. Like we we included memes that were there at the time, like popular. We recorded like. We had like the knuckles meme. Uh, do you like the Do you know the, the knuckles way? meme? Yeah, like do you know the way? We had that in the fucking video. We we had like a reference to like masturbation when like this redneck guy wakes up and like his his uh, tissues were in like under the the blanket. Um, dude, it was just a bunch of like uh, clips of like funny st- things we thought we were funny. And we put them all together and we just stated, "Yep, this is what the ten amendments are about." <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, we got we did we got like a low we got a low score because of it. <laughs> Damn. Even the teachers all like 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 te- I know the teacher was pretty conservative. She wasn't very like liberal, but she was like, yeah, that was that was pretty bad, guys. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, we thought it was funny, but at the time, like I I don't know where the video is at. It's probably somewhere in my Google Drive somewhere. But bro, I, I if that video ever resurfaces somewhere, I I gotta like run and hide. I gotta like I gotta move countries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that that's not. It sounds like you guys had fun, though. Oh yeah, we did have fun, but for the for the wrong reasons. <laughs> hmm. Um. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you had any any embarrassing like uh school projects that you've kind of like presented. Look, I I remember doing this one thing in theater class. Okay, we were in groups of four, and each of us had to come up with like a demonstration um for something in society i don't exactly remember how it went down but it was, we just had to show like an injustice or something right mm-hmm. and um most people just did something about race you know oh that's I'm in, yeah that I'm is in new the, york and yeah that's typical it's, though it's but what i decided to do is um religion and people Ooh. not taking um someone's like uh, word or um just just advice like at face value just simply because they're religious oh yeah um because like uh there's a stigma because um now because uh, even though uh religious people like have a very ethical code just because some people like don't agree that there's um uh, they think that we we just believe there's a s- big sky wizard or something that mm-hmm. everything that um we believe is wrong so i did like a demonstration of that of like and it had something to do with uh putting like a cloak over uh, uh the group of people that were like um religious or something and um it was the only thing that was like kind of in that sort of side of um like like the ideology right yeah and uh that and and when i when we did that demonstration uh was this this one girl just stands up it's like what the fuck really yeah damn it's <laughs> nuts what, and, what and then we points, continue with all the yeah, rest what of points what points did you present on the religious like uh presentation you did um it, it well it, it had to be like really short um, oh, okay like these were like 10 seconds uh, 10 second demonstrations i don't oh. remember entirely what it was but yeah yeah it was like really quick right um mm-hmm. but uh it, it was basically like i remember three people kneeling and saying something like um uh, uh saying something that they have a belief and um they also want to contribute to society or something and then uh someone from above like throws a cloak over them to, which is supposed to be like silencing them or something oh that's uh, cool um but yeah. yeah that that was my idea uh, mm-hmm. it was a while ago but um, yeah i definitely agree I, with that i i definitely uh I, i'm i'm not really religious anymore uh again i'm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of like uh agnostic but uh, I still take I, I still I still take uh, religious people's value at, like face value. I still like listen to them because I have no proof that you know neither version exists, either God or 
no God, you know what I mean? I have no, I literally have no proof. Like, I, I something I always well, have yes. about about atheists is that atheists have literally have no proof that God does not exist or you know does exist. You know, they just say it because it's just easier for them to say. Like, uh, usually it's usually for attention because I know it's a lot of atheists. It's for attention or they think they're special and unique or you know or it's the true the, the true uh belief like yeah i just don't believe god's real but i i it's just i think religion has you know there's so much history to it there's so much like documents and you know scripture and art about it and just it, this doesn't come from nowhere you know what i mean like like yeah. years and years of religion doesn't come from nowhere it comes from somewhere so i always think that religion has some origin like point to how it started and what influences it to continue and to have a stronger belief and i do believe some religions you know may be real but i can't say 100 percent they are real but I, I still, and, um, but I still like to believe that certain people's religions can be a possibility. Yeah, and uh, faith uh, wouldn't be um, a risk. Mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't be a thing in general um, mm -hmm. if we knew that there was um, a, a god or creator. Yeah, and all these things. Uh, I don't want to become like some uh, guy that's like, "Have you ever heard that Jesus <laughs> Christ saved you? <laughs> he saved all of us from sin or something?" But like. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, I think, like, what you need to start with is, like, uh, understanding that everything we know has a cause. And if yeah. that's the case, then how was it all, how was just the point zero cause, the Big Bang? Yeah. Right. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, but beyond all of that, um, I, I just think religion is a, a good way t for, to utilize our, um, just, uh, need to stick in groups but also do it in a moral and ethical way oh yeah right because um like i i'm personally catholic and what that means is uh we, we're uh, very uh, invested in like forgiveness and confession and mm -hmm. um because we think everyone everyone sins there's no perfect person yeah right but you can rebound from that you can improve your yourself and um i i think like um there's there's always criticisms but s simply rejecting the idea that you shouldn't be moral is um, not a good way of going about it yeah um i know like what is it my i know i i still i still have a fear of like um like, if I do die, you know what I mean? Like, if I still have my beliefs of, like, I st I'm not sure if I believe God or not. Like, my fear is, like, is that is that belief of me not, you know, like, my faith in God, like, not great? Would, would I still go to heaven or would I go to hell? Because I know there's a lot of people that stay, like, it's, it's oh. Okay. It, uh, Father Orange is here to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Father know. Orange, tell me. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, I, I definitely uh, don't think that there's there'd be any risk about that. I think the entire point, the, the, the whole idea of heaven or hell, I personally believe that, like, um, when we die, we simply um, exit uh, reality. I think reality is like um, sort of a bubble created mm -hmm. by whatever the hell created it. Um, but uh when when we're out of that we are simply presented with the truth of, of existence and everything mm -hmm. and then we either accept it or we don't and i think there's plenty of people who accept reality that uh, weren't that uh, the specific religion I, I i think there's plenty of i don't think you need to be a specific religion in order to uh, not the idea of heaven and hell is like um uh, if you reject it, then it's just like painful for you to understand that ex this experience. So um, then you're just like suffering, and that's kind of like the idea of hell, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. But um, I I think just if you're bettering yourself and are just a, a person trying to do the right thing, then you can uh, th then you uh, <laughs> will be able to enjoy the afterlife. Yeah, I get you. I'd, I, and I don't know, it's like, enjoy the afterlife, you know, when we talk about that kind of stuff, it's like, um, uh, if there is an afterlife, uh, what uh, would our purpose be there, you know? Yeah, that's something I have an idea too, like, like, what do we do in the afterlife? Like, do, do we still have, like, do we still commit to certain things like in the afterlife or are we just there to enjoy pleasure forever, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think there's something that we cannot comprehend in, like, as we are now yeah that's most definitely that would um probably 
solve the equation just it, it's simply like um the unknown factor you know that's that's yeah. how i'm solving it but uh, it's it's true though because i think like no matter how um intelligent we are we're still bounded by our uh earthly understandings and um if this is all um an intelligent um uh, creative like uh like like as i said a, just a, a bubble um within um like the entirety of everything then uh i think we we um mm -hmm. th there's a lot that we just won't understand until we're there yeah i get you but yeah um yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I've been, I've been stuttering a lot this time around. I don't know. I I feel like I'm just uh, trying to say stuff, but um, mm -hmm. I still need to work out how to think these things through. But it's it's a podcast. I need to say everything in live time, or else the viewers get bored. Yeah, you know? I get you. It's okay, man. I I stutter here and there too. Um, I know I've like I think I stuttered a couple times earlier where I was like trying to pick a word I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah. So I stutter here and there. Um. I know in real life I stutter a lot because I speak I speak incredibly fast. So I'm like I'm rambling on. And I'm talking faster than my brain can can throw words out. <laughs> yeah. And then, and I end up catching myself like stuck in a loop. I'm like up, 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 up. I'm like ah, ah, and I'm like all right, slow myself down. I'm like all right. I hate it when my like train of thought derails and like I yeah, don't it's know. terrible, man. Oh my like, god. Don't you when you make such a, a perfect conversation like um just like segueing from one thing to the next and then you lose a car yep like you, you yep. lose one of the things that you wanted to ex talk about and, and like exactly it, it, even if like you can remember it just like the time loss it just ruins everything mm -hmm. uh, it ruins insane. that it ruins the the setup for your next conversation or your transition to it yeah, yeah. i get i get you i get you man like I'll, I'll i'll be talking about something and then as i'm about to talk something else like i'm stuttering too much at this point like people kind of like forgetting about the topic are like oh you're still talking about it i'm like yes <laughs> I but, am still um, talking about it. <laughs> uh, back to the, uh, the the people in high school uh, at that time, like that, oh, yeah. that made that. Uh, like, I, I, I don't like using the term racist just because maybe like the context is different, but just that uh, that video you guys said, uh, made that's like uh, has lots of discriminatory undertones and stuff. Yeah. Um, the, I, I'm, I think that they're just like a bunch of edge lords. I don't think that they're like. They have oh yeah oh yeah I got racist ideas yeah i throw racist around because it's like it's kind of on the border of it it's more of just has a lot of discriminatory a lot of like offensive content to where it's like um some of it can i think can be deemed racist uh but a lot of it is just like uh it is edgy and a lot of it is like it's literally on it's like amateur work it's it has no taste to how we did it like uh, like these race jokes we did, like there were just there was no taste, there was no setup. It was just yeah. Oh, this is funny because you know it's edgy. yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. yeah. So um, I I guess it's just because for me, uh, I I feel like I took a route that was different from others. I feel like it was like an inverse route, um, because when I was fourteen, um, I didn't know, um, about socialism or any of these high government things, but these were ideas in my head. I was basically. Um, I thinking like if I if for the ideal society we I, I we'd want like maximum government control. I was I, I was just, when my fourteen year old edge lord years <laughs> was um, as a socialist. Right? Yeah, and I was like, and I was saying stuff like we gotta remove greed from people. If we remove greed, then we all live in utopia or something, right? <laughs> but um, then as time went on, uh, I grew out of that and learned that we are um, individuals that are born with inherent sin and we if we weren't uh, given that in order to um, be above it and, and, and resist the temptation then there would be no point to begin with yeah I get you um, but yeah it's just like a, I was uh, uh, back it's like for most people on the internet, like when they were like uh, getting into the online space and stuff, they are, they all like consider themselves right wing and stuff. But I consider myself heavily left wing, and I've come around to the other side. Oh, so you think I you're find. more? You think you're more? Um, I guess in a sense, liberal or not liberal, but more. Uh, uh, what is the term? Republican. Uh, What's the, what's the other term for de Republican? Republican, Democratic. Conser there you go. Uh, Democratic. I think it's Democrats. Yeah, Democratic. 
in a sense. Republican, Democrats. Yeah, you're more like on the Democratic. Like Democratic is more like liberal. Well, I used to be very Democratic, except for like the uh, some things like uh, on, that they'd uh, it, so, some like arguments and talking mm -hmm. points. But um, uh, as as time went on, I found myself moving more and more to the right, and uh, not like from some irrational fear. Um, worries of things I've uh, I've looked into like every single argument and tried to break it down and understand it and it's only moved me more to the right yeah. and um, it, how I see it now is I am uh, as far right as you go before you're racist yeah right? huh? <laughs> so but uh, what I want to say before uh, about that is um, that's like just uh, the normie um, uh, idea of it that mm -hmm. I, I present um what i really think is the case is that there's two parallel universes to the political world one of them is uh the left and right and um they disagree on each other uh they they disagree about each other based off of certain ways they want to structure society yeah and um uh, work out problems but then there's the alt left and alt right and these pe this contains all the edge lords assholes and they are opposed <laughs> to each other based on the fact that they want to kill the other side yeah definitely they, they want one and, side to be the the main like uh society system how we work yeah and and they sacrifice their original ideas because i don't think the right wing is racist I, I oh no i don't think so too i know though. i know that's thrown around a lot like they're like oh if you're conservative you're racist and i'm like that's that's kind of harsh to say like i i because like I just I don't know because because like it's because the term the idea is that so many uh, conservatives are racist you know what I mean like it's just by that chance like so many like um, uh, racist people they turn out to be conservative you know what I mean but that doesn't mean conservatives are racist you know what I mean yeah, um, I, I think what happens is um, p these people look at the groups on mm -hmm. other sides and then they have an irrational distaste for them and mm -hmm. that's what makes them develop these uh irrational ideas racism yeah. um and um uh, i am trying to think of something on the left side i like i don't know an irrational fear of donald trump um yeah literally like if like i don't know the idea of conservative the conservative scares like liberals in my opinion like i i don't mean to, i'm not a conservative but neither am i a liberal but the idea of just conser being conservative scares liberals man it's just it, it, yeah. it, the, the idea is like, oh, you're a racist. Oh, you're you're this and this and that. You know, oh, religion is tied to racism and all this jazz and you know, and they they don't care about our feelings. Like, no, they you know, conservatives do care for feelings. It's just um, they just tend to choose to be on more over facts than over like you know feelings, in my opinion. Yeah, um, just like uh, yeah, just uh, that's that's the thing, right? We have to stay reasonable right and i mm -hmm. i don't think uh feelings are something that should be uh, omitted from the equation i think you should consider people's feelings definitely if you're like friends with them and yeah. stuff but um uh, there's also cases where feelings are overboard like if uh, if someone's feelings like change how people what people are allowed to say then i think that's overboard um but yeah we we just need to see like how we view other tribes of people based off of their beliefs and not have an irrational uh, response to them because mm -hmm. that's the entire problem that's developed the alt left and alt right and uh, this uh, massive schism between the two sides I'd say yeah I get you yeah. um, and then there's the whole idea of um, Oh well, what if we like got rid of like the two sides in general? What if it was just completely decentral, you know? Yeah. Um, I I I hope that could become a reality. I think what we got to. Well, I hope that would become. A, it's just people <laughs> like to pack themselves uh, on a on two sides, right? On a yeah. on a linear uh, scale, right? Mm -hmm. And um. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, uh, the only way I'd be able to like separate this is from people who are thinking about this rationally and irrationally. Um, but uh, if, if we could like do certain things like prevent uh, the single issue voter, 
right? People who um, simply uh, choose uh, one party out of the two and just stick with that no matter what, then that could probably solve some things. Yeah, I get um, you. I just wish, you know, like if – I don't know. Maybe being maybe being a president being one-sided to a party is definitely not something we should look for. I definitely think we should have like – um, not – maybe I don't know. Maybe not necessarily two presidents, but, you know, somebody who's – for both sides to look for both sides and you know to look for to take care of you know like everyone as like um as a big group instead of just oh i'm gonna you know since i'm conservative i'm gonna focus more to change the laws to favor our side i think that's kind of unfair you know what i mean yeah. or you know if they're you know li if they're very liberal they're like no i'm gonna focus on my party you know fix the things that my party wants i think that's just it's just it's stupid it is stupid i just think uh like I said, a very central president would be the best idea, in my opinion. Yeah. So just l looking back at just the whole idea of uh, politics and all these things, I think we have a problem not with uh, simply ignorance or anything, but irrationality and irrational responses to things we don't understand. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I believe, like, I, I'd like to say that um, – we'd be able to tell like we, we'd be able to deter, determine which side is right about a problem about something over time but actually i think that if if there's like a spectrum of people that agree or disagree on a certain topic that means that we haven't time hasn't solved it yet right yeah I think exactly advancement in technology or the society will solve the problem and this opposing these two opposing sides won't actually do anything about it um but that's not harmful. People can uh, disagree and talk to each other about it. What's harmful is um, the people who are irrational stick to their group and sacrifice their morals to destroy the other side. Yeah, exactly, man. It's like um, just, you know, um, attacking someone just because um, they have a different view on gender or attacking someone because of their view on religion. Um, exactly. Uh, in in like, like attacking someone for being religious or um, attacking someone uh, because they're uh, not religious. Or attacking somebody because they want to change how they look on their identity and stuff like that. And it's insane. Like, I don't know. Like, like, if, like, if, like, I don't know. It's just both sides, man. Like, you can't do that. You can't do something without either side just bickering and arguing about it. Yeah. It's, it's insane. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's not going to. I, I'm, I'm trying to think because, <laughs> like, um, I, I don't want to contradict myself when I say stuff like you can definitely make jokes and uh, criticize uh, the things you disagree with. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think that uh, contradicts when I say, like, you shouldn't, like, legitimately have an irrational, like, uh, hatred for something that you disagree with. So. Yeah, exactly. You just disagree with it. You shouldn't have to step out of your way to antagonize it and to, you know, disrupt it and to ruin it. Yeah. Simply just disagree and walk away. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Or, 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 I don't know, if you, if you have something funny you, you want to say, I guess. You yeah, of course, you can always too. input. You can always input a joke if it's fitting or if it's suiting. Yeah. Uh, I always feel like you can always joke about something. I know, it's just, it's, it's a lot, you know. We've been born into a world that's so complicated. <laughs> exactly, man. Man, I should have been I should have been born on that island full of the fucking uh undiscovered uh tribe. I'm not sure yeah, you about that. There's an island North full Sentinel of North Sentinel Island. Yeah, they haven't even discovered fire. I wish I was born there, bro. Fuck this shit. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I would have stayed in the primordial soup if I knew there were gonna be days like these. <laughs> For real, bro. Yeah, Alright, well we re we've reached an hour and twenty four ish minutes. Um yeah. I think this is a good time to close it up. Yeah, this was a nice uh, just uh, chat between the two hosts, and uh, exactly. we got we got really nitty gritty with uh, our I don't know religious political views. Yeah, that's that. something good. I, we got a little serious in this one, so I, I, I I'm, um, that's something I'm I'm always uh, open for serious topics. So yeah, definitely. Um, and I, we also talked about like I don't know family. Uh, yeah. Ancestry. I don't know. Uh, all the, all the cool stuff. stuff. Yeah. We'll look back at it and uh, we'll uh, while we're editing and make the thumbnail that'll have everything in it. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> all right, everybody. Well, thank you all for tuning in. This has been the seventh episode of the Remnant Podcast. Uh, tune in for next week because next week we do have a special guest coming up. So, uh, yeah, take care, y'all. Oh, 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 oh,